In this video, I'm going to try to explain cutter compensation. So the first, my table, is the object I have to machine around. And number two, for a minute, just imagine if you can, that I'm a tool. No one ever objects. But, so I'm going to go around my table this way with my assistant, Ollie. Hey buddy, thank you. And what I want to do is first I'm going to line up my center with the edge of the table. So if I start to walk, it might not be good. So let's try again. So I need to go around the table this way. So my center's lined up with the edge I'm going to go along first. Well, I need to move to my right. So I need to move to my right by my radius. Half my diameter, which we will not discuss. Then my edge into my cutter is lined up with the edge of my part. And I can go around my part and I'm compensated to the right. So that's a G42. So I've done conventional milling G42 around my part. Now, if I want to go this way around my part with the aid of my assistant, thank you, sir. You. Oh, he's a good helper. Right? So now I've got my center lined up with my part. I need to move to my left by my radius that isn't discussed. And now, when I go around my part, I'm using the G41. I've compensated the tool to the left by its radius. And that's cutter compensation as demonstrated by a tool. Thanks, Solid.